Hi, this is continuation for Power Electronics module and today we are delivering a lab. So we covered before three labs and the previous lab, lab three, we uh, talked about how we simulate the buck converter and we have spoken about how we get the buck converter in open loop and also closed loop and investigated the impact of parasitic components on the output voltage. And today we are going to make more investigation uh, on buck converter so we have four tasks the first task is to get a relation between the duty cycle and also the output voltage how we do that in LT spice and I will leave to you more tasks later maybe how to provide uh, a relation uh, between duty cycle and output voltage and also the efficiency and other things but I will give you one of them and you do the others so the task number two is how we measure the efficiency for a buck converter using LT spice. Task number three, how we select a diode. And what we mean by diode here is the diode in the buck converter, which might be a rectifier diode or fast recovery diode or a shutke diode, which one is better and how we sense uh, in a quantified uh, way how which one is better than and how much is better than the other, okay? Task number four is about how we promote our buck converter from asynchronous design to asynchronous design and why okay so all that will be provided through task one to task four and what is expected from you is to duplicate what i'm doing and build on that for your coursework as well so now let's get started hi again so let's now get started with the first task so i have built this circuit i think you can copy what you have done in the previous uh, lab uh, it's uh, quite the same uh, circuit with the same component but i have deleted the feedback part with the pwm and also the driver and i just kept this uh, generator here as a pwm generator for this high side uh, a mosfet so what i just uh, done here i have I have noted this as G1 and this one as S1 because this generator should be connected between the gate and the source for this uh, MOSFET. You can't connect between the gate and the ground because this will not be a good uh, driver, okay? So this is the change because now my, my focus is not on the closed loop, okay? So now, according to this, we want to learn how we um, get the relation between the duty cycle and also the V output, okay? So according to this equation here, okay, or the information provided with this pulse uh, generator, I think the duty cycle is this term here, and it's maybe 50% of the uh, full duration. So if I now run the uh, simulation, the input is 50 volt, and the output approximately will be about 25. So if I run it now, and just get the output voltage and yes it's a 25 volt okay so yeah we are uh, we made sure that the circuit is working right now so now let's now uh, change this and make some variable here instead of being as a fixed value for the due cycle so right click on pulse information and we can change the 50 micro here to a uh, duty cycle so this kind of brackets and duty c so now here duty cycle okay so now we need to define the duty cycle as a range and step of range so that's why we have to make this command dot step okay the duty cycle okay from for example from zero to uh, 100 micro okay and every step is about 10 micro so we can say that and maybe we have to say param here okay just to make sure that we are writing it in a correct way so now the duty cycle will be changing from 0 micro to 100 micro and by step of 10 micro and now we will see what is the v out but remember we are in the transient simulation if we run it it will run for 10 times okay for each duty cycle and each one will provide for us the output so now just to see how it goes now so yeah if you look at this now this corner 
left down corner you will see that the, it is now running for three times four times out of 11 okay let's let's wait it until we finish and it's now done so let's now click on v output and yeah we have 10 um, curves from zero to about it says there to about 50 volt okay which is correct because if we change from zero percent to hundred percent we are going to get a voltage from zero volt to 50 volt which is the v input here okay so it's now yes right but i want to draw a relation between a duty cycle and v output so that needs another command but what we want we want the duty cycle versus v output so we want to draw the relation and to do that we have to measure the v output and make a log of a, of that for each run okay so to do that we have to uh, provide another command and that command is dot measure okay so we have done it before in one of the previous um, lab experiments dot measure the v the average value so avg of the v out okay this is how we write it and we can say it's v out avg so we have to to provide a name and what it equals okay this is how we write it so measure v output average as average of v out okay so this is how we write it now we have to run the simulation again and and see the values in view spice error log okay so now let's run it again and we can see the v output here for each run okay so we will wait until it finishes and now it's finished but i don't care about the transient i want the city state and i think i will find them in view spice error log so I have here the steps I have, okay, duty cycle from 0 to 100 percent, it should be, and also the V output average, but it says here failed, okay, this is very weird, why? And I think that's because the V out here, so look at that, how it's, how it's written there, I think I missed that, I should write it in, in according to what the Altisvice has here, okay, so here we, I have to change it uh so it should be like that okay so it's the average of v voltage of v out that note so this is how we write it this is a mistake from me so let's now rerun again and now it's done so let's now go to view spice error log we find the table of duty cycle and also table of the average of the v output okay I think here the steps are uh, corresponding to the steps of the duty cycle. So now let's go to this one, okay, and right click on it and say, uh, click on plot step measure data, and here is the result, okay. So it's quite the same as we got, yeah, in, in our slides. So the duty cycle from 0 to 100%. Here the output from 0 to 50 volt exactly okay so we can say that yeah it's a very linear um, uh, relation between the duty cycle and output voltage for the boost converter for the buck boost converter and other converters you can follow the same uh, procedures again and you will find different curves according to what we covered in the lectures